Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Westerado. Remember from last time we had a pretty good session, but uh, it didn't, didn't maybe end the best. Uh, it ended with a coyote tearing us apart, and as you can see, the process for dying and then recovering in this game is somebody finds you bleeding out and leads you back to safety, however they do take half your cash. I think we're going to get out our single... Uh, revolver again. We don't need any of that two revolver nonsense. So last time we did a lot of uh, exploring. We found a whole a whole host of places. We haven't actually been up into Clintville yet. And so we're going to do one thing real quick. We're going to help this lady get her husband back. And we can go through this pretty quickly because we know the whole deal. She wants her drunkard of a husband back. We pull our gun on him and back we go. One of the nice things about replay is you can do a lot of the quests really quickly. So I'm sorry if uh, you haven't seen the first video or if this gives you a bit of a headache, but this is basically we're talking with the sheriff and he tells us to go see the rancher. Dark brown bandana. Alright, now one of the things I said we were going to do last time, which we didn't get around to, was to talk to this red-dressed lady. Let's see what she's got going. That's Miss Tressabel, or just Tress. So, Miss Tress, there. Don't have a whole lot to say, obviously. <laughs> Don't we all, Miss Tress? Hmm. So she likes ambition. can do. So there's a few other things we can do here. We can always buy hats, although Bro doesn't have any use for them. Uh, I have never visited Santa Ana. Well, there we go. You know what? I agree. So there's always random people you can talk to when you get a random selection of sentences there. But uh, also, we got some guys playing cards, we got, got a guy on the piano, and we got the saloon owner himself. Which is actually a quest to talk to him. And we don't really need anything to drink. Well yeah, we want to know about a uh, murderer. And we know a little bit about the fight between the tycoon and the ranchers from last time. So really, right now the oil tycoon is uh, all that's keeping this little place going. We'll be talking to the owner more as I go through the different playthroughs, so let's, uh, let's go by the banker. So he's apparently a little, a little, uh, hard to trust there. Anyway. Yep, we can get up and dance. We can play cards. I'm probably going to do a little sub-video about cards. So you'll uh, you'll see me play that later. It's just Texas Hold'em, so it's nothing particularly exciting. Thanks, Sam. And uh, we'll see more about Sam and probably our bandit run, actually. Okay, you can take out and cock your gun quickly, and everybody draws theirs. We're going to be picking up all the spare gold we can find, because we will want some gold, despite how I've been throwing ours away on mercenaries and dying. Here's Miss Tress again. Uh-huh. So you're actually married. Ugh. So she likes ambition, she likes courage. 
And there she goes and tells us all the other places she is. She's at Rancher Bob's and the Oil Tycoons. Now I could take this quest, but unfortunately that requires killing a lot of people. I'll take it if I need to later on, but uh, you actually can get away without killing anybody in that quest if you shoot all their hats off them. Which is something that we do know how to do, but it's a little bit iffy. And just because I'm not shooting these guys doesn't mean I can't kind of go up and get the area on my map anyway. Most bandits are nice enough as long as you keep away from them. Again, I don't think coyotes count towards the kill ratio, so I don't mind offing them a little bit. Let's see. I think I might usefully go up here. Huh? There might be a little bit of area I haven't explored quite yet. Yeah, sure enough. Sorry, bandit. Again, we're running from them. Sorry, fast fingers, Wayne. Well, looks like we might be trying to shoot off some hats after all. Oh, I'm going to be cutting out this part, but we'll be right back. Three, and we're back. Uh, so that was an unfortunate incident, but maybe we can get past. I'm interested in that uh, that ghost up there, to be honest with you. So these look like some new bandits down here. Ah, got one. So there's one dead. There we go. Alright, only one. Ghost miners apparently used to this kind of thing. Also apparently not so good with the... Uh, examining himself with uh, self-reflection. Well, not me, Ghost Miner. I'm here for you. Gotcha. You know, uh, the Lost Miner did say he'd seen one of his friends come back as a ghost. Yeah. Absolutely. And he's definitely been down here for years. Petey the pickaxe? We've seen Petey. Absolutely. So this is another quest which is probably best done with a miner's hat. However, if you sort of know what you're looking for, which is an area over here, you can do it without the miner's hat. Yeah. That's just through experience, though. This is much easier with the hero who can actually get the miner's hat. Now there he goes, he had his revelation and now he's fading away. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's not really much of a revelation there, buddy, but uh, hey, whatever works for you. And, of course, every little bit of information about him helps, so it's good that we've uh, put that particular ghost to rest. These areas will be a bit more interesting to look at when we get our miner's hat. Any character besides Bro can, uh, can get the hat. So, here we go. I guess I have to find the ladder there. Sorry, Smiling Oswald, I don't even have that much. I would share if I, if I could. So, obviously the mines are fairly extensive, and one thing I do appreciate about the game is that uh, they've got this whole dual thing going on. Ooh, hey, we know these areas. First off, another gold piece, and now a snake. And this is a snake. And there we go. So whatever we're doing, we're lighting up those circles, which presumably will pay dividends at some point. I like all the little tarantulas running around. Uh, I don't want them attacking me, but I also do want their money, so sorry guys. I'm going to be just running past you. And here we see, this is the end of the line. This is a big cave-in. We can find this, actually, and we'll find the other end of this later. I'm not going to fall down it, but I'll sure tell you where it is. 
Bro could certainly deal with these chumps, but uh, I'm going to let them be as we're going for the pacifist run. Once you get a hat, incidentally, uh, whatever kind it is, you can take it to the haberdasher in, in uh, Santa Ana, and we'll be showing that off later, and then they'll make more of it. So once you get one miner's hat, you can get infinite miner's hats. Well, it's the Beefhead Bulls. We shot a bunch of them. Let's see, we need them to leave the tracks. I assume warm it up means get drunk, because I think that's really all they do. The banker pays them. Interesting. Uh-huh. Alright, buddy. Yeah, when was the last time you paid? 300. Alright, they're pretty proud of themselves and their drunkardly ways. You can see there's an awful lot of them, so these would be all the ones that were attacking us before. And we could, of course, uh, because we have freedom to do as we please in the Wild West, we could just mow them all down, uh, come in and shoot all of them, and that would get them off the tracks. There's a number of the ways we could get them off the tracks, and, and one of them is by doing that. Um, but because we are a gentle and kind bro, we're not going to be engaging in that, and they will leave you alone as long as you don't uh, mess with them. They're the largest and most organized bandit gang around, you gotta give them that. Well, except for the, the bandits that follow the, um... <laughs> okay, secret hideout. Except for the bandits that follow the guy that burned our ranch down and murdered our family. They seem pretty organized, too. So here they all are, and they none of them really have anything new to say. So I would like to scrounge up enough money to get them out of here. Okay, here's some regular bandits that are going to hate us as soon as we grab that, but that's 90 coins to make 300. So we have exactly enough right now, and I think you can talk to any of them. Interesting. I don't know about that train ain't coming to town. Three hundred it is. <laughs> They're so jolly. Anyway, that handled that. They're off the tracks now. So that's cool. I can go back and report my success. And that is step one of getting the train, which is uh, a very worthwhile quest indeed. So let's go and talk to her here. This might have beaten us, huh? We do know that it was the murderer who blew up the train tracks from the ghost. Skinny. Good to know. I did. So she needs some people to come and help clear off the train tracks. So anybody that's good with digging, and there's a tremendous number of people we can get to come help us. But uh, I've got some specific people in mind, and those will have to wait for just a little bit. And it looks like we're really blitzing through this area of the map. In fact, there's only one area that I think that we have left to cover up here before we can start heading, heading west, which is uh, appropriate for this game. It's up this way. But where before we just talked to the miner's wife, we will be taking a, a right and east. And here is the Indian outpost. Now, if you remember, the chief they said went traveling. And this indeed is him. 
level. I guess this is probably all their land, technically. You gotta talk carefully here. You don't wanna be offensive. So I think maybe they know who it was. I like how you can kind of get the cadence of the way people are talking by watching how the text scrolls. And you figured they might have known somebody about them. So, he wants me to, th to free uh, three ranchers. If I drive Buffalo to the fort, I can also free them from there. The problem with so doing is that uh, driving them to the fort and then freeing them instantly starts a big old brawl with everybody at the fort. That's not really what I'm into. Hey, mistress. that sense. He is hard put upon. Alright, mistress. We'll talk there later. So there's just a little bit more poking around to do. I don't want to do the rancher's quest right now, Rancher Bob's quest, because I think it's possible that I will be able to no good came from going here. I think it's possible I might be able to do it without killing, and I want to uh, test out that theory. Now, I don't think they have any money sitting around. Sorry, Madman Whitewash. That's just about everybody in through here, though. Remember, with one-shot kills like they have... Hey, they did have some money. Uh, I'm going to want to be as careful as I possibly can. So I'm still collecting money. There's a lot to, to use money for in a pacifist playthrough. Here's another little verdant zone, I would say. This seems to be much nicer. A little stream flowing up through here. It looks like a branch of the same one that flows through the, uh, the mountains and ends up down south. Sort of frustratingly, this is a forest, but when a wanted poster says there's a baby who's wanted near the forest, is not the area they're talking about. Okay. There's a lot of money that I'm all gonna want, and a gold piece up here. So it was absolutely... Whoa! Oh, <laughs> watch out, coyote. It was absolutely worth coming up here for. I just had to be careful on that. Being a pacifist doesn't mean you're not a bit of a thief, I guess, although I guess that uh, statue was stolen already from the uh, indigenous peoples. I think. Now, I could go south here and get to the ranchers, or I could continue up here and get to this semi-hidden little mine entrance. I love all the little kind of hidden passages that they have around here. This is just a really fun world to navigate. And I'll, I'll grant you, usually if I'm just playing this game myself, um, going for a quick playthrough, I don't usually go pacifist. It's a bit fun to... Uh, be any of the characters really besides Bro, anybody who can take a punch, who can take a shot, and go through is just a, an adventure clearing through the tunnels. We'll see that when we uh, do the bandit play. And honestly, probably a lot of the other ones too. If there's something that we really need, we're not going to feel too bad about just wiping people out to take it. I, forget, I don't think bullets will actually penetrate these stone walls, so I think once we're away from there we'll be more or less safe. But here's a little uh, turnaround, a little U-bend here. And this is an even more hidden entrance up here. We might recognize those those banners, and yes indeed, you can see up here. Cunning as a fox. And would you look at that, the third icon has lit up. And... That actually does affect something somewhere in the uh, in the world here. It's not really advertised. You can get snippets of dialogue more or less randomly for people that tell you about it. Excuse me, outlaw Tom. 
don't think there's any stacks of money hanging around here, so we'll just quietly egress. Remember, again, that these tunnels were the ones that were, uh, used to be the main industry of this town before they collapsed. Yeah, so this is land owned by the, uh, the oil baron here. Sorry, lady. Yes, that's probably good. Notice they've got these big oil pumps. That is something that, uh, we'll be seeing a lot more of if we choose to go as a tycoon. Alright, I'm trying to avoid getting in a fight here. But eventually I'm just gonna have to blow through this lock and hope nobody cares. See, sometimes people get kind of antsy if you start firing guns around, but uh, that's fine. We managed to make it out. Here's an abandoned town. These are all bandits, I think. Yep. And you can sure tell, because as soon as you start grabbing their money, they, uh, they get a little peculiar about it. There's plenty of money in here, but obviously also plenty of bandits. This is a nice little way to sneak down there. There's a lot of scorpions protecting that bottom money, so if you can get away without uh, going the long way around, that's generally considered good, I think. What's this place say? I'm so nervous about checking those signs. Keep out. Okay, that's fine. Who knows what happened there, incidentally. I wonder if it used to be a mining town that shut down? I mean, obviously this whole area has seen better days. Well, do be wary of scorpions. As I said, you can uh, put them down permanently by hitting them with a gunshot. See here? Here's one. Over here. One shot to bring it up, and if you can get it while it's up, it goes away forever. There we go. Okay, we're in open desert now. And obviously there's not a whole lot that's good in the desert. There's bandits. The place is absolutely lousy with bandits. It's swarming with them. That's just the directional sign there. Hey! Sorry to anger you, my, my friends, but uh, I gotta get... And here we are at the oil tycoons, so very nice. And there's 990 gold. If I can just find 10 more someplace, I'll get a, uh, a four-digit gold reserve. Now, we're not going to talk to the uh, miner, right, the, the oil tycoon right away, I don't think, because we don't have the map from the banker, and he wants us to, to do some stuff we'll see more later. Remember, he has this sort of intense negotiation with his oil rig manager early on. Alright, oil tycoon. Wow, uh, what's wrong, mistress? Yeah, one of the many men, or your husband, or the other many people you hang around. But you know what? Through all the time we've spent together in this dress, I think I found myself becoming fond of you. I think I could make an honest woman out of you. So let's, uh, let's see if we can initiate proceedings. Well, here's the, uh, the real decision point. Are we going to be a tough guy? Are we going to be sure of ourselves, Or are we just going to go full bore and say everything we got we're going to give to you, Miss Tresabel, after these three short conversations? Yeah, that's it. That's uh, undoubtedly true. That's Western wisdom there. She's getting a little far into colloquialisms. I'm getting a little afraid here. Okay. We're going to be seeing Mistress soon. That's all we got to say to the oil rig, oil baron for now. Not too much to say to him. So let's just do a bit more exploring and then we'll get back and see Mistress. You can see we've really tackled the uh, entire eastern part of the map here. Keep in mind we do still have to free ourselves some buffalo, but uh, that'll wait for a second until we can finish exploring. Hey, here's some money. Yep, and sure enough, now we're at our even thousand. Oh, don't shoot the buffalo. 
And hey, look at this over here. Off to the, uh, off to the right there. Oh, I don't know what got me. Man, that stinks. I didn't mean to use that. 500. Oh well. We're gonna keep going with it, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not actually gonna cut this one out. I'm just gonna run myself back, because it's not that long of a walk. Ah, I really didn't want to lose that 500. I had plans for that. Alright, new idea. Next time we get another 500 gold, we are just gonna go for broke. And spend it immediately. Which, speaking of, I feel like it's time to uh, pull out all the stops, really go nuts, and talk about those three symbols that we found. We found, uh, I was like, what, why is this an owl cunning as a box and uh, silent as a serpent? Something like that. Well, there's a legend that goes around these parts. Ooh, that was close. About a, a group calling themselves Bonafide Bandits, and they were known to be all three of those things. That's really the only clue that you get that there's anything having to do with those ones. And remember down here, way down in the dark, where we found that miner? It turns out there's another place that you can get to. That's one more, up one more. And actually, there is a little uh, marker for it on your map, so you can see there's what looks like exit. Again, this is a thing that's a bit easier when you have the... Oh, sorry, Wild Bill. Sorry, Texas Jack. It's a little bit easier once you have the uh, miner's hat, but that door up there only opens when all three of the icons are indicated. And my goodness, there isn't a big ol' horde in here, so now we're back up to a thousand again. Hey, it's the Bonafide Bandit. Him? Ooh. Looks like everybody knows. So this was an old bandit group supplanted by our current monster. White shirt and tie. So he's... we're pretty... we could probably take him down now, but uh, this isn't primarily a kill the bad guy run, this is an ex exploration run. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Alright, thank goodness. The last thing I need is to lose my life to some chump bandit on the way out of here. Because I got me a thousand dollars, and I got plans for that thousand. Sorry for all the uh, stumbling around in the dark action we have going on here. This is really the uh, the danger of running with Rogue again, because I almost certainly would not get any deaths if I was at, with any other character, because... Um, you can always replenish your hats. You know, getting hit is more of a warning than an actual death sentence or anything like that. So you can see that you really don't need to move through this game killing anybody, truth be told. You can, um, I mean, I have, I mean, you, you do need to kill people in the final stage when you're going up against the murderer, but until then, not really any need for it. I've got basically all the clues I need. Okay. So, uh, let's get rid of this money before it burns a dang hole in our pocket, and let's further keep in mind what we were told, which was that, um, by the Indians, the Native Americans, we need to free us some buffalo. So, hello, Rancher Kyle. I'm doing alright. We, we got a whole bunch of, can I help to fix the train tracks? He's a rancher, and could you let your buffalo go? I bet I know what it's going to be, Rancher Cub. <laughs> yep. That sounds good to me. I guess he's just a rich eccentric, huh? Alright, let's rock. Absolutely do not want to lose. You do die if you lose to Rancher Cub, incidentally. He's not, like, fake fighting you. So we'd fight a, we start a for real fight with him in which one of us has to die if we didn't have a little shoot fight with him first, but because of that whole mess, uh, he lets us free all of his buffalo. And that's all that that takes. Do get on out of there. Come on now. Come on, little buffalo. There, out you go. And out you go. Alright. And furthermore, 
Did you fix the train tracks? Ugh, Grancher Cobb. All right. And we'll have a shootout. He sure does. Thanks, Rancher Cobb. You're a really weird guy. But uh, the knowledge has been instantly beamed back to our native friends. So they know all about that. And that's good. Let's, uh, let's go talk to Rancher Richard down here. Howdy again. Hey, Rancher Richard. Uh, let's go ahead and let the buffalo go. Need to make some money, do you? Well, how about we compensate you? And see, that's what I need my thousand for. This is one of the, though, by no means not the, most expensive things in the game. Obviously, again, you start a fight with him, and a fight that you can win, obviously, if you just let the uh, buffalo go for free. But because we are dedicated to being pacifist, and to solving problems, not creating new ones, we free him, and he doesn't even care. And let's have you go. You're gonna get a little bit more money today. Yep. I guess they probably aren't planning on taking enough once they get enough money, because uh, with all their buffalo gone... I'm not actually sure what the uh, what the economics of this situation is. I mean, obviously, uh, Rancher Cobb was able to afford losing all of his. Although, again, he could be some super rich dilettante for all I know. I don't know what the deal is with the guy. And you know what? Now that we're down here, since we're down here anyway, we might as well just head over one, and oh, I'll be darned, it's Miss Tresabelle. Maybe make a hat or two. This is what I was talking about, how hats are kind of a metaphor for a lot of different things. I mean, here we go. This is so weird. I don't need... I don't... <laughs> uh, okay, whatever. Yep, that's a farm drawl. Definitely not an area thing. I don't know what that means. Cow punks. So I think we're uh, stumbling towards a relationship here, more or less. Ah, of course, a timeshare. Silly me. Take you away from all that mistress. Oh, and she wants to get the house, huh? Yeah. I am interested in a house. Well, there we go. We need to get 1500 in cash, and in fact, that is only half of the uh, 3000 it normally takes, so that's quite a deal. We have gathered the allegiance, presumably, of Miss Tressabelle, although I'm not entirely sure how trustworthy she is, but whatever. And finally, we have Rancher Bell here. I don't think you could even ask him uh, to free his buffalo, but we can ask him to go fix the train tracks. So if we ask him to do that, and then we leave, and then we come back... Well, there's nobody here. And, uh, you know, if a lock happens to get shot off and, uh, some buffalo happen to run out of it, well, who can say what's happened? It's maybe a hard time, but this is a small price to pay for, uh, whatever it is we're doing this for. This is a small price to pay for a quest being checked off of our journal book, which, uh, as anyone with an acute case of protagonism knows, is the only thing worth doing. Yeah, what do you think about that, Mr. Indian Chief? I am 
am a friend of Buffalo and you. Okay, spirits. And there we go, he's got a Mexican hat. Can I help with anything else? Oh, they're gonna attack. There's gonna be a big battle between the. Uh, you know what? We're a good person and we don't want a war. Obviously, they've got some fairly serious grudges, and, uh, you know, I don't exactly blame them. Yep. I certainly will. So! I've got a token that I can show his brother to show that, uh... I have gained the trust of the side. Remember, his brother didn't like me and told me to take off. But now with a token from the chief, I'll be able to talk to him. And that is half of the peace equation. I'm sure, still not sure exactly what the folks at the army, uh, what the fort are up to. But uh, my guess is I'd have to discuss things with them a little bit first before anything really conclusive happened. You know what? We actually got enough people uh, together to clear out the track. So how about we go down and see how that went? We also have another goal for the future in that we need to amass 1,500 uh, silver pieces, pieces of eight and doubloons, I don't know, whatever, <laughs> whatever we have. There we go. I do know most everybody. Absolutely, you'll see the official train opening. We find the uh, buffalo beef heads up here anywhere? I'm not sure where they are actually. Maybe they're only up at the bridge now? Yeah, that's right. I am not looking for trouble. And they have beef head bowls. <laughs> I, again, I do appreciate their enthusiasm even if they're not the. Uh, the most together bunch. So we haven't done anything to make them change their ways or drive them off. All we did was drive them out of the tunnels and up under that bridge there. They're still liable to be a problem. And you know what? It may come to guns with them. We may end up having to uh, take out a number of them, but that's alright. If it comes to that, if it comes to the nines, then we'll just deal with that. I've only got one kill to my name so far, and that is still far below the 20. I think even with the necessary kills in the end, so, here we have... Who do we have down here, incidentally? Oh. Rancher Bell's gonna take a uh, trip out of town. Sorry about that, Rancher Bell. Oh, something else is wrong. That is a terrible mystery. It seems like it would take a lot of uh, poking around to uncover that, but let's just talk to this guy here. I want a train timetable. I really like just folk for an answer. That's I, I think I had as one of the titles just because I really like that answer. Explain yourself. Seems like he has an easy job. Makes you wonder. Uh huh. So he's holding up the economy of the town and proud of it. Well. And there we go. Mystery solved. Yeah, let's have a little conversation. Fair enough on that. 
I won't take it easy on him. <laughs> I'm not. Alright. Well, there we go. Well, you got a job, buddy. Ugh. Uh-huh. I'll probably take it sail soon. And there we go. The trains are running again. A mailman on the first train. Well, there we go. We got a letter from sister. Oh, man. She's coming in. That is a pretty close look, I gotta grant him that. Alright. So, after a length of time, the train will come in and our sister with it. And uh, we're gonna have to track her down and find her. So, ladies and gents, that is the entire middle and eastern portions of the maps. we still got a little over uh, overland mountains to take care of, a little bit of desert. And we've, of course, got everything in Santa Ana. But I think that can more or less wait for the final video. I think we'll be able to wrap this up, almost certainly, uh, be able to wrap this up in one more. So I look forward to seeing you then, and thanks for following. Let's play Westerado. Yeehaw!